federal capital, scene of the second appointment to Governor General of an Australian. Sir John Latham, Chief Justice, arrives for the ceremony and is escorted to the chambers by the Usher of the Black Rod. British High Commissioner, Mrs. E.J. Williams. New Zealand High Commissioner, and Mrs. J.G. Barclay. Cannon and Mrs. Edwards. At 11.15, Mr. and Mrs. McKell step from their car, accompanied by the Governor General's Secretary, Rear Admiral Sir Leighton Bracegirdle. At the entrance to Parliament, Mr. and Mrs. McKell were greeted by Australia's Prime Minister, Mr. Chifley. In a Senate, the galleries of which were packed with guests, the party approached the dais. Dignity marked the entrance for the simple 13-minute ceremony. Admiral Bracegirdle reads His Majesty's Commission and the Chief Justice asks Mr. McKell to take the Oath of Allegiance. I ask you, sir, to recite and to take the Oath of Allegiance. I, William John McKell, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King George VI, his heirs and successors, according to law. So help me, God. The oath, then signed by the Governor-General, is witnessed by the Chief Justice. For Mrs. McKell, it's a great moment. Now First Lady of the Land, with Mr. Chifley, she takes great interest in the ceremony. The Chief Justice then asks the Governor-General to take the oath of office. I now ask you, sir, to recite and to take the oath of office. I, William John McKell, do swear that I will well and truly serve our Sovereign Lord, His Majesty King George VI, the Office Governor-General and Commander-in-Chief hand over the Commonwealth of Australia and that I will do right in the manner of people after the laws and uses of this Commonwealth without fear or favour, affection or real will. Witnessed by Prime Minister Mr Chifley, the investiture is now complete and the entire nation greets the first citizen, an Australian, His Excellency the Governor-General the Honourable W.J. McKell. Led by the Usher of the Black Rod, the Governor-General retires to King's Hall for the reception. Diplomats from all over the world are presented to Australia's new Commander-in-Chief. The American Ambassador and Mrs. Butler pay respects. As do Mr. Menzies, Leader of the Opposition, and Mr. Fadden, leader of the country party. At Yarralumla, a battery of press and newsreel cameras record the historic event. For this man and his rise to greatness typifies the true spirit of democracy. As a boy, a boilermaker's assistant. Today, King's representative in one of the world's most progressive countries.